Welcome to the Lithocrush V bullet tip version in service. This is an educational program designed to assist in the proper use of the Lithocrush V bullet tip. It is not designed to replace the information in the instructions for use that accompanied the device when it was purchased. This presentation is a supplement to the information contained in the instructions for use or IFU. All the material in the IFU should be reviewed prior to operating this device. Let's review the assembly of the Lithocrush V mechanical lithotripter. There are two different versions of Lithocrush V. One is the distally wire guided version. The other is the rotatable bullet tip version. Be certain of which version you have by looking on the box, which will indicate either bullet tip or distally wire guided. On the distally wire guided version, there is an indicator for compatible guide wire size. Let's review the handle preparation. The unlock release button needs to be fully turned counterclockwise as shown. If it is turned too far, the button will be in the locked position. Once the knob is fully unlocked, push the ratchet switch into the off position. The handle is now ready for assembly to the Lithocrush V basket. First, remove the black protective sleeve from the tip of the basket. Second, withdraw the stem at the proximal end until the basket is fully retracted. When the stem is fully withdrawn, a black mark will be visible on the stem. This indicates the basket is ready to be assembled to the handle. Next, we will assemble the basket to the handle. First, insert the stem into the handle until you feel or hear a click. Lock the stem in place by fully turning the knob on the release button clockwise. Next, we need to align the yellow arrow on the end of the basket to the yellow marks on the handle. Push the basket end into the handle until you feel or hear a click. Flush the injection port prior to passing the basket into the scope. After flushing, pass the basket down the scope into the patient's duct. The bullet tip version of Lithocrush V has a plastic sheath which helps prevent trauma when cannulating the duct. Once the basket is in the duct, open the basket by advancing the rod on the handle forward until the basket is fully deployed. Rotating the basket may help to acquire the stone. The basket is rotated by turning the rod on the back of the handle in either counterclockwise or clockwise direction. Once you start rotating the basket, you cannot change direction. The plastic sheath is retracted by loosening the knob on the basket sheath by a quarter turn counterclockwise. Advance the knob forward and into the locking groove. Tighten the knob by turning it clockwise. As you can see, the plastic sheath is fully retracted and we will have metal on metal contact with the stone. Now we can crush the stone. Push the ratchet switch into the on position. Slowly turn the handle to close the basket around the stone and eventually crush the stone. It is important to turn no faster than you see here or the stone can slip out of the basket. Lithocrush V can be used to crush multiple stones. However, you will need to crush each stone one at a time. Turn the ratchet off and check that the basket can reopen smoothly. Apply gentle pressure to the back of the handle to reopen the basket. Smoothly open and close the basket before crushing additional stones. If the basket does not smoothly open and close, then remove it from the patient and use a new basket to ensure no trauma is done to the duct. When removing the basket from the patient, ensure the basket is fully closed. Also turn the ratchet off to relieve tension in the sheath. Then remove the basket from the patient. Now that we are done crushing the stone, we need to disassemble the handle and basket. First, loosen the release button by turning it counterclockwise. 
and then push the release button and yellow button simultaneously while pulling the handle away from the basket. After the procedure, dispose of the basket. The handle is reusable and needs to be cleaned and autoclaved.